Golden Road Arts is a nonprofit that offers art classes for kids so they can make the most of their own creativity. One of the things that I really want to talk about today is a color wheel. So do you know do you know what the colors are on the color wheel? Have you had learned that at all in school? Yeah, the color wheel, there's three colors that are the most important on a color wheel and they're in a they're in a triangle. So there's one at the top, one here and one here. And what do you think they are? What do you think those three red, important? Yellow, red, and blue. Good job. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you guys a piece of paper here and we're gonna do a really fun thing. So if we have yellow yellow, red and blue. Let's, let's move this over. Yeah, good job, Wes. I'm proud of you for knowing that. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? We're going to do a fun color mixing thing. So I'm going to give you each a piece of paper. Shove it over a little bit, Wes. There we go. Okay, so what would you, what do you think would happen if you mix? Uh, so we've got our color wheel here, and we've got yeah, we've got red at the top. Let me get another piece of paper. I'm going to make it right here. So we're going to make our triangle. So we're going to do, yeah, I got the three colors right there. So we got, we've got red, yellow, and blue. And yellow is usually at the top. Do you know why yellow is at the top? Because it's the least important. Because it told the blue and the red that it wanted to be at the top. Right. It, it, it thought it was the most important because it thought that it looked the most like the sun. And so it thought, you know, since I'm the sun, I'm the most important, I should be at the top. But really, any, either, any of them could be at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit... Water and we'll we'll put, we're going to put just a little bit of yellow in our color wheel here. So I'm going to make a color wheel, but you guys are going to do something that's even more fun. So there's oh, our yellow. Triangle. There's our yellow. So... And we're going to have our red. And usually, I don't think it matters which side red is on. I could think it could be, usually I think it's on the right. But I think it could be, I think it could be on either side. And if you know what right is, this is right. So there's our red. That's a lot. That's a lot. Is that a lot? I forgot to get, you know what I forgot to get? You always forget something when you do this. I forgot to get, I forgot to get a thing of water to clean up my brushes. Yeah, you forget because like they're watching this video and they're doing stuff and <laughs> then you just forgot something and so then they also forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could have Remember to get stuff. water to clean up your brushes. Mm -hmm. We can't tell them that now. Okay, and so then we're going to have blue. And this is um, temper paint. This particular temper paint comes from Dick Blick, but um, you could use any kind. It doesn't matter. So there's our blue. Okay. So now we have our red, yellow, and blue. So we're going to do a really fun thing to show you what happens when we mix these colors together. So what do you think would happen? What do you think would happen? I'm going to put this up here where we can see it. What do you think would happen if you mixed red and yellow together? What would you get? Are you sure it would be orange? Okay, so. give me your one hand. Don't let this spill. Oh. Okay, give me your other hand. <laughs> Don't let it spill. I'm getting painted. I'm getting painted. Okay, so mix it together. What are you going to get? Okay, guys. Orange. Mix it together like this. Orange, 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 orange. Oh, no, we didn't have enough yellow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Let me wipe some of the red off. Okay, mix it together. That's a lot. Mix it together. Okay, now print it. Orange. Okay, print your hand. Make your hand prints. Make your hand prints on the paper. I was so right. Good job. Okay. Do two more so we can get the paint off your hands. Good Those job. Are the bony ones. Okay, now right here, I'm going to write your name on here. Wes? Well, it would be good if I got the right name. Why is everyone always confusing Atticus for Wes? Like, literally our tennis coach did the same thing today. Really? Uh -huh. 
Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put it down here now. Wait, here's. Every time you give us a ball, it's like, okay, uh, okay. Okay, put your hands down here. I want to clean you off. Okay, guys. So, if you're gonna do this with your classroom, you want to have two buckets of water. You want to have a bucket with soap in it, soapy water, and a bucket with clean water, so that the kids rinse, wash their hands, and then rinse their hands and then dry them off. And uh, maybe have a mom come and help because when you're doing this with a whole classroom of kids, it can get pretty messy. And then um, I arranged the tables in a big circle so that they just went around the circle and it worked pretty well. And um, um, the thing you want to make sure to do is um, print all the different colors with everybody's handprints, make sure they write their name on the paper. And then when you're done and the, and the prints are dry, you can cut these prints out and you can make them into um, all different kinds of things. Uh, the last class I was in, we made them into leaves. We did a big tree, and we hooked all the handprints to the to the tree as if they were leaves, and it was really beautiful. So, it's a great thing that you can do for um, a class project. Okay, so of course, when if we're ever back in class, okay. So now we're going to do the purple, right? Mm. So what's going to happen if we mix red and blue? Purple. 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 Okay. So you're getting blue in this hand, <laughs> and you're going to get red in this hand. And then if we're lucky, That's also enough. we're going to get purple. Okay, like. mix them together. There you go. Get it on your thumb so your thumbs are going to print too. Okay, all right. Print your hand prints. I know what's going on the back. Print your hand prints here. Print your hand prints before it dries. <laughs> okay, then print them again. Print them a second time. Perfect. That looks pretty good. I did a pretty good job of that. Beautiful. Can I go wash my hands? Yes. Yeah, you can. Go ahead. Just go wash your hands and use lots of soap. Bye. So this is a this is a really 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 great um, color separation demonstration. Once the kids do this and they actually do it with their hands and they've done it with their body, they're going to remember this. They're not going to forget and um, they're not going to forget the, that these are the secondary colors. Mm. We didn't talk about what they're called. Everything seems to have names, doesn't it? So the first colors are the primary colors, and then the purple and the green and the orange are the secondary colors. Can I do yellow and blue? Oh, yeah, you want to do yellow and blue? Sure. Did we do the, we didn't do yellow mm -hmm. and blue? Oh, my gosh. How could that have happened? Okay. Okay, hands out. Oh yeah, I'm getting more dirty. Oh yeah, I'm getting more dirty. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of yellow blue because, there you go, rub it together. There's not enough blue. Oh, it is. You'll be surprised. It's plenty. Rub it together and you're going to have green. Everybody Okay. <laughs> rub it together. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's about to rub, your, rub your hands together, honey. Okay. You're taking too long. Wait, We're going to fall asleep by the time you do this. There you go. It makes green, everybody! Green! Okay. Print your hands. How does it sound? <laughs> sound? This is why you need a bucket of water. Okay. Okay, print. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around and kind of print again. Try not to print over the other hands. Try to print them at a different spot. There you go. Try to put one right in the middle. You can do another one. Do one right in the middle. Good job. Yeah, that looks really good. On the back. Okay, so I think you can go wash your hands now too. Go ahead. Bye. We did a really great demonstration of um, our handprints, doing our secondary colors, our uh, green, purple, and orange. So if the children do this process, they're going to remember. You know, the important thing is we want them to remember this. We want them to remember that if they mix yellow and red, they're going to get orange. And if they mix blue and uh, yellow, they're going to get green. And this is, they're not going to forget this if they do it. Thanks a lot for coming today, and thanks to my uh, good buddies here, Weston and Atticus. They did a good job of helping me demonstrate today, and uh, we're going to do um, a lot of fun things the next time we meet, so I hope you'll come back to Golden Road. 
Um, if you do this pro project with your kids or with your classroom, they're going to remember if they mix yellow and blue that it's going to turn green, and if they mix green and um, yellow and red, they're going to get orange. Uh, these are important concepts for kids to know. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at Golden Road. We'll hope you'll come and see us again.